Now, if you haven't seen the unboxing for the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard, then I'll leave a link for you guys down below and you guys can go ahead and check that out where I did a cinematic style unboxing, which was fantastic. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving a quick review on the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard by MSI and just going over some of the specs and features that this motherboard provides and hopefully that will give you a better understanding of what this motherboard is capable of. So without wasting any time, let's get into this. What's up everyone, Adil here, back for another Tech Wednesday video and I think I'm a bit late for the intro, so I'll skip this and get on with the video. So I'll quickly run over some of the main specs and key features of the motherboard so you guys get a general idea of what the motherboard is capable of then I'll quickly go over some other details later on in the video. So for starters this is of course for the latest i7 Coffee Lake CPU lineup. Now that includes the i7 8th gen CPUs. This is not backwards compatible with any of the other generations like the 6th gen and 7th gen although it uses the same socket which is quite confusing for some users so if you have the 6th generation and 7th generation CPUs from Intel then they are not compatible with this motherboard. So you have four DIMM slots which are dual channel and they go all the way up to 4000 megahertz once you overclock your RAM. That is allowed by the overclocking availability with the armored plating on the DIMM slots and of course the DDR4 boost which MSI have provided in this motherboard. You can install a maximum of 64 gigabytes on this motherboard. Well 64 gigs is a bit of an overkill if you're just using it for gaming and just general productivity like editing your videos on YouTube. But 16 gigs should be more than enough for pretty much any game out there. However 32 gigs or 64 gigs is an option as well that you can take. Now this has three PCI 16 ports. Now this means this motherboard is two-way SLI compatible and three-way crossfire. We have two M.2 slots, one on the top above the GPUs and the other one in between the PCIe Express for your graphic cards and one of them is shielded which is a pretty nice feature to have which keeps it cool and in terms of aesthetics hides that ugly green PCB which you find on most SSDs. So you have up to four USB 3.1 Gen 1 tie ports for your front USB connectors and four USB 2.0 connectors for your front panels as well as having up to 8 USB ports, a mix of USB 3.1 and USB 2.0s on the rear panel. And not much has changed since the Z270 motherboard. The socket is still the same 1151 socket. So the specs on this motherboard are pretty much similar to your previous gen Z270 motherboards. However, what has changed is a few tweaks that you can do and extra support for your DDR4 memory and of course your new 8th gen CPUs which have up to 6 cores on your i7 and i5s and up to 4 cores on your i3 which from these motherboards you get a much better performance in terms of overclocking and can take some of your CPUs over 5 gigahertz a push of a single button. Now just in comparison against the older generation the KB Lake and the KB Lake X you'll see a much improved performance from the new Coffee Lake lineup. Now in terms of benchmarks on a Cinebench you have a massive improvement over the i7 7th gen CPUs. Now with the i7 8700K Coffee Lake CPU on the MSI motherboard you get a score of 1523 on Cinebench R15 and on the i7 7700K you get a score of 995 pretty much almost double the score on Cinebench which means this is a much better CPU in terms of performance in multi-threaded applications. Now even in single core performance the i7-8700K outperforms the 7700K with a score of 218 against a score of 200 from the 7700K. Now if you see in my previous video where I give a bit of a rant about why Intel released KB Lake X when they were releasing Coffee Lake which has a much better platform and performance then you'll see why from these results that KB Lake X shouldn't have been released. Now from KB Lake X the i7-7740X had a score of 976 in Cinebench R15 where the Intel i7-8700K scores 1523 which is pretty much almost double the score of the i7-7740 X. You see my point right guys? And not only that, the i7-7800X has a score of 1285 on Cinebench R15 and the i7-8700K is way above at 1523 which literally smashes all the previous gen CPUs. It's just a much better platform and CPU in terms of performance and uh, single core performance and multi-threaded application performance. Uh, this is the CPU for the future other than Ryzen. Now over the years MSI have produced a number of motherboards. My favourite series out of all the motherboards has to be the Gaming Pro Carbon series motherboards. Whether it's for AMD, whether it's for Intel, whether it's any chipset, it doesn't make a difference what chipset it's for. But the Gaming Pro Carbon motherboards have to be my favourite with that carbon fibre wrap around the heat sinks and all that kind of area. It just has a very stealthy look which you can just throw in any setup in any gaming PC in any case and it'll make your PC or gaming setup look fantastic with all that mystic lighting going on. It's just overall a fantastic motherboard to have with the addition of the AC you get a Wi-Fi PCI adapter which gives you an advantage of having up to 860 megabyte per second wireless internet it also gives you Bluetooth 4.2 which is just way better than having your dongles sticking out into the back of the PC and all that kind of stuff well done MSI well done 
thank you hopefully i'll be able to do a build and test out these motherboards and the cpus going further so if you guys want to see that make sure you drop a like down below and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else regarding these motherboards out regarding these motherboards and cpus well that's it for this video hope you guys have enjoyed if you want to see the unboxing for the motherboard i'll leave a link for you guys down below so you guys can check that out thank you so much for watching hit that like button if you like the video dislike if you disliked it subscribe if you're already not and i'll see you in the next video adios